All right, Tim, let's close out strong. Last prayer player on the season. Who are you calling for people to play? Going with one of the trending players, Isaiah Hodgins. I really like what they've done bringing him over from Buffalo with uh, Dable, who had obviously familiarity with him, knows how to use him. Last Three of the last four weeks, he's gone double digits, and all of those have had touchdowns in them. But they've also had pretty decent target rates, or target shares, I should say, um, where we're looking at 15 points, 15.7, and then uh, 22, I believe, last week. So I think it, the role is only trending to a greater amount. I think that he's taking a lot of what they were expecting Kenny Galladay to be able to do, but he's obviously more swift of foot and a little bit more physical when it comes to being aggressive across the middle. So I think that um, Hodgins is going to be a pretty big piece of this Indianapolis game. And if we actually look at the the, the way that Indianapolis's defense is ranked against wide receivers, but we go back and actually look at the passing offenses that they've played all year. They've really only played about three good ones and the rest of them in middle of the road are, are bad. And they've actually given up decent amounts of passing yards. Uh, I want to say for the last six weeks for sure. So I think that Hodgins is going to be a pretty key piece of this offense, especially for a team that's uh, looking to lock up a playoff spot. Yeah. And Isaiah Hodges is a different kind of receiver than the rest of their team has. If you're unfamiliar, I mean, he's six foot four, 210. He's not the fastest type of guy. He never was, even at Oregon State. He was more, he has a great catch radius. He's a guy you can throw it up and get to him. And that's something they've really needed. You know, Slayton's kind of been that big play connect over the top. Uh, they have a couple little guys they've tried it underneath, but Isaiah Hodgins has brought a different dynamic to the team. He's seen, you know, as we mentioned, around that 15 to 20 percent team target share each single week. So he's absolutely been involved. Um, I'm cool with playing Isaiah Hodgins in probably most lineups. I think there's a really good chance if he sees the volume he's been getting that he sneaks back inside this top 36. Um, <clears throat> you know, if we're going to compare him to like a Darius Slayton. You know, like I, I probably think it's safer to just lean with Isaiah Hodgins if we're talking those types of guys. Like, you know, the KJ Osborne's of the world. Um, I, I think I'm rolling there. Even Romeo Dobbs, you're worried about Christian Watson. I think I'm just still leaning Isaiah Hodgins. We have him ranked as a wide receiver four. I think him sliding inside that top 36, being a wide receiver three this week isn't ridiculous. We've seen it over the past couple of weeks, and I never thought I would have been here if you told me week one that I would be playing Isaiah Hodgins in my championship week finals. I would have called you crazy. You know, I mean, I, I loved Isaiah Hodgins. <laughs> I was waiting for him to get a little bit of an opportunity. It was evident it was never going to come in Buffalo. I think him moving over to the Giants where he is needed, you said, as we said, he has a very specific role. We've seen it on the field and that connection with Brian Dable. Who knows what he is about and um, knows Isaiah Hodgins as a guy. I, I think it was a great fit. It's really happy to see Isaiah Hodgins. He's he's a nice guy. You know, he's he, he's he, Oregon State. I know a couple of people went to Oregon State who knew him, a couple of trainers there who told me, you know, just good things about him. Um, I've always been rooting for him. It's good to see him connecting on an opportunity. So hopefully he can connect this week and <laughs> help bring home some championships.